Hey there, www.andrewmartinmusic.com. Um, this one is an update on the tinnitus that developed in two, 2017, uh, adjacent or concomitant with some nerve injury in my neck, which was the worst injury I've ever had in my life, nerve damage. But first, how do you like my new Andy Kane? <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> this is uh, something I need because I uh, fractured my ankle and spine and, uh, in 2021. Coming up to two years now. And uh, yeah, she's, she's hooped. But I still have have decent quality of life. Um, it ended a lifetime of being able to do my trade to the degree that I would need to do it uh, to earn a living in basically the economics of insanity. And that's what I dub today's economics, especially COVID e economics, which was the largest transfer of wealth in history from the commons into the billionaire oligarch elites. Um, just outright theft. And uh, because they control all the media, and I mean all of it, um, you know, nobody will talk about that theft. So there are a few. Uh, you won't find them on YouTube, you know, any more than YouTube Gnostics uh, would tell you any truth. <laughs> I mean, talk about contradiction. Um, so anyway, tinnitus. <clears throat> Basically, I lived with it through 2017, 18, and 19 and kept playing music um, as far as, you know, recording and, and posting to YouTube. Um, on the scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst, I would say through those years it was about a 7. So it was very unpleasant. Um, you know, I just, because I'm a musician, um, I just kept playing, you know, and because I didn't want to stop doing what I was doing. And uh, I should point out that I, the first concert I ever went to was 1972, Edgar Winter with Electric Light Orchestra. And uh, I've been to thousands and thousands of concerts, you know. Never developed tinnitus. Um, I played in bands for 10 years in the clubs. And uh, I used a loud amp. I used that PV 200 watt amp, which was thoroughly unnecessary, but that's the amp I had. Uh, I called it the Beast. And I, I played loud. And uh, I never developed tinnitus. But I developed tinnitus uh, with this injury in my neck. Uh, that happened in January of 2017. So, flash forward to 2020 and the scamdemic. And that, a part of this, the scamdemic was to put as many mom and pop shops out of business as possible. There's no doubt about that. That was a part of the agenda. Um, and being the, the legal small business person that I was, I got wiped out. You know, March 2020, April 2020, zero income, zero income, zero income. Now I couldn't do, I was 61 at the time with that injury from 2017 in my neck, and I couldn't solve the, the economic shenanigans surrounding the scamdemic um, in the way that I had used to do, which was, just go work for one of the a-holes, you know. And uh, just a note there, like, I went to construction sites just to see in, in the spring of 2020, and they didn't miss a beat. And I would argue that not one of the oligarch billionaire projects missed a beat, you know. They, they profited enormous, enormously from this. And, um, yeah. So... I had to give up my apartment and I came out here to, to the woods 
and it was rather abrupt and quick that the tinnitus went away. So uh, the reason I'm making this video is there any if there's anybody that has tinnitus and you can get out of out of the woods, it it basically subsided. So I've been out here coming up to three years uh, September, and uh, the tinnitus now is is a minor issue. I do have occasional episodes if I listen to the earbuds for too long because I want to do a song, um, which I haven't been doing much of. Yeah, she'll start howling, but it dissipates. So that's basically why I'm doing this video for anybody that is suffering with tinnitus. Uh, forget all the uh, snake oil salesmen. Just get yourself out into the woods and live a quiet life. Uh, as far as you know decibel go decibels go so yeah that's uh it's a beautiful may afternoon and i i haven't been doing a lot of walking but i wanted to test my ankle uh today honestly it feels like crap which is kind of disappointing but uh you know everybody in the system has acknowledged that uh this ankle is not going to get much better than it is. So it's just something I'm stuck with. Uh, short of breaking it and resetting it. And at my age now, I'm 64. I don't. I just don't want to go through that. I have a half decent quality of life. Um, so yeah, that's uh, Andrew Mark Music's update on tinnitus and why I haven't really been posting much of uh, music on YouTube. Um, I'd like to, but it's just not worth the howling ears. So uh, what I do now is I have my Fender Tele. Everything else is in storage still. Um, little project happening here. Everything else is in storage. So, I mean, I play my Tele. I keep it right by the bed and I play it every day, maybe three hours a day. And I'm thankful that my fingers are so good in the, you know, I suffered a serious wrist injury moving out in 2020 of my long-term apartment. But thankfully that didn't prevent me from playing the guitar. So, you know, that's what I do now for music. I just play my telly with an out an amplifier. And, uh, you know, I've become much better at the jazz genre. I've just uh, been spending a lot of time on jazz blues. Um, so that's where I'm at with it. Anyway. I will get back to posting, but not so much music. Um, all right, peace out. Everything is an existential shade of gray. Politics, religion, too. Sell us lies and hate, make us despise love and truth. Do you?
Doesn't 